welcome to another musical adventure in time travel. Today's going to be a slightly surreal adventure because I'm going to play um, for you two examples of the actual music of ancient Greece. Barn dance style! <laughs> yeah! On my banjo. Um, pass me my amphora of moonshine, Dionysus. Uh, actually, not as um, surreal as it sounds because one of the um, actual lyres played in ancient Greece, the ancient Greek lyra as it's called, was in essence a banjo without a fingerboard. Um, the lyra consisted of a tortoiseshell resonator over which a soundboard of taut leather was stretched, just like on a banjo. And, even, and also like on a banjo, the actual strings, the seven strings on the lyra, passed over a wooden bridge, just like on a banjo. Even the, the number of strings is similar. The five string banjo was the five strings, the ancient Greek lyra had a few more, seven. And um, although the banjo looks quite a modern instrument, its roots go back way back to about 3,000 years, about 5,000 years in fact. Um, the banjo in America uh, evolved from the African banjar, which was um, a type of instrument the African slaves remembered from their native lands. And even today um, in Africa, these, these archaic banjo-like instruments, for example the zalem, that's X-H-A-L-A-M, played in West Africa. And that's um, a fretless instrument with a um, skin membrane stretched over a gourd. But the roots of instruments like the zalem, they go way, way back, say to about 3000 BC, to the first sort of fretted lutes found first of all in ancient Mesopotamia, and then in ancient Egypt in the New Kingdom about 3500 years ago. Um, incredibly, the Zalem is almost identical to the ancient um, Egyptian lute. The ancient Egyptian lute um, had frets and um, it had a, a gourd resonator over which a um, skin was stretched, um, say just like a banjo, amazingly. So that's a bit of the history of um, the uh, fretted lute in the ancient world, how similar it is to the banjo. The pieces of music I'm going to play for you are, first of all, um, the first Delphic hymn to Apollo, followed by Epitaph of Cicolos. Now to hear uh, more authentic arrangements of these pieces for Replica Lyre, um, check out my album, an ancient, sorry, the, the Ancient Greek Lyre, um, which is available from iTunes, Amazon MP3 store, and um, the physical CD for this album is available from Reverb Nation. All details on my website, www.ancientwire.com. Um, so that's to hear um, a more authentic version of these tunes. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Um, starting off with the Delphic Hymn to Apollo. Um, there's actually two Delphic Hymns to Apollo. They were, find, they were found inscribed in marble at the treasury in Delphi. Um, and uh, so there's a bit of academic debate on the date, the dates of them. The um, second Delphic hymn to Apollo is precisely dated to um, 128 BC, the year of the um, Pythian festival. The, the Pythian festival was dedicated, to, say, to the god Apollo. Um, as for the first Delphic hymn which I'm going to play, conventionally that was thought to date to around 138 BC. The more recent scholarship seems to think it also dates to um, the Pythian festival in 128 BC. The date 138 BC I think dates back to the Pythian Games, which is 10 years before the Pythian festival. I'm not an academic boffin, but uh, that's a bit of background. As for um, Epitaph of um, Cicolos, this um, is a unique piece of music because the entire complete text of the song has survived, unlike the Delphic hymns and all other examples of the music of ancient Greece which survived in a fragmentary form. And the complete um, song of Cicolos was found on a burial stealer in Ephesus, actually on the way to Turkey. Um, but it was written in ancient Greek with ancient Greek musical notation. Ancient Greek musical notation is amazing, um, unlike the really ambiguous forms of musical notation throughout the other parts of the ancient world. Ancient Greek musical notation was alphabetical. You had the text of the song over which the um, alphabetical representations of the pitch of the melody wrote. 
and the rhythm can be quite easily inferred from the actual syllables of the text. That's a bit of background to that. All these tells in the historical section of my website, www.ancientalaya.com, uh, where you can find um, audio clips from all my 14 albums. That's all the plugs out of the way with. Enjoy the music. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.